Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I have a Bath and Body Works empties to share with you. So this is all Bath and Body Works like body care products um, that I have finished over the last, I don't know, month or two. When's the last time I did one of these videos? Probably January. So whatever I finished over that time period. I just did a update to my project Use It Up Bath and Body Works edition. That's where most of these products are coming from. And then I also have a couple of other items as well that I finished. So let's just jump in. Don't have a ton of stuff, but enough. I have one soap this time. I finished a Merry and Bright Twisted Peppermint Soap. I really like this packaging. I actually have another one of these. Um, and I'll use it sometime next holiday season. This is Cool Pepper, Cool Peppermint Sugared Snow and Fresh Balsam. It's your twist of peppermint that you know and love. Really, really pretty. Liked it in the hand soap. A good holiday type blend. I had this in the kitchen. It smelled great. I really like the foaming hand soaps in particular from uh, Bath and Body Works. So I have quite a back stock. And I think, I want to say I have two more Twisted Peppermint now that I think about it. So, love that. Finished a dry shampoo in A Thousand Wishes. So, Bath & Body Works recently, in the last year or so, came out with some hair care products. This was the first of the dry shampoos that I had tried. Got this during like a $5.95 sale back in November. And thought, for that price, I'll give it a try. This was terrible. This had no dry shampoo qualities to it. It did not absorb any oil. It didn't make my hair feel fresh. Essentially, this was a hair perfume. So after the first few uses of this, I realized that it just wasn't doing a dry shampoo's job. And so I kind of started using it like a hair perfume um, because it just, it wasn't working as a dry shampoo. It leaves no, no white cast. And not, not that that is a testament to a good dry shampoo because I know there are other dry shampoos that don't but there is nothing about this that felt like it was doing anything to my hair other than just giving it some fragrance. This is a beautiful fragrance. I really like the scent. I don't know if the notes are on here. Yeah, pink Prosecco, sparkling quince, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto cream. Thousand Wishes is a really beautiful scent so I guess I enjoyed this to add some scent to my hair, but definitely not something I need and I would not get the dry shampoos again. Okay, finished a couple of body creams, a marshmallow pumpkin latte. This is my favorite fall scent from Bath & Body Works. I use it every single fall and this one kind of just was lingering from the fall. So I had put it in my project, use it up in an effort to finish it and not let it set until next fall because I have more of these <laughs> that I'll use next fall. So this is pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. There's no coffee to this. There's nothing coffee about this or latte. To me, this is sandalwood, amber, and like some pumpkin. It's a very sweet scent. It is so nice though. And smelling it just takes me to fall and I love that so much. But I don't feel like Bath & Body Works does coffee scents very well because I don't particularly care for the smell of coffee. Um, you know, I do when my coffee is brewing in the morning or if I go to a coffee shop, but as far as like body care or home fragrance or anything like that, coffee is not my thing. And I seem to really like all of Bath & Body Works coffee products because I just don't feel like they smell like coffee. But I love that one. That luckily for me comes out every single fall. Hopefully it continues because it definitely is one of my favorites. I also finished a Twisted Peppermint. So same as this, the uh, hand soap. Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Fresh Balsam, Vanilla Buttercream. It's just a vanilla heavy peppermint scent. Really love this for the winter time. I love the lotion in particular, you know, the body cream because it kind of leaves this cooling sensation to your skin. I really enjoy that. So I use this sometimes in the summer as well on a sunburn because I enjoy that cooling sensation when my skin's had a little too much time in the sun, um, but a great winter scent. Love that so much. I do have more of that as well. Couple of shower products here. I finished two shower steamers. 
So I got these during the $5.95 body care sale as well, which I thought was a great price because these retail for $19.95. You get six shower steamers in here. All right, no way I would spend 20 bucks to get six shower steamers. I would never do that. But $5.95, sign me up. So this first one is Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This is your, you know, traditional Eucalyptus and Spearmint scent. So what a shower steamer is, if you aren't familiar with them, it looks kind of like a bath bomb. It's this little like flat tablet and you put it where the stream of water is going to hit. And so it will start dissolving when the water hits that tablet in the shower and it releases this fragrance. So it's just supposed to be kind of a spa like feel um, to have just like a really great smelling shower. I loved it in Eucalyptus and Spearmint. This was so strong. It just really had a good fragrance to it. Eucalyptus and Spearmint is a very strong scent, but I felt like it really just filled up the shower very nicely and just gave me that spa-like feel to it. Yeah, I would definitely get this again if it was at a good price. Like I said, I would not purchase it at $19.95, but if I could get it on sale, I would. So this one, Northern Brights, this is Eucalyptus and Pine. I am obsessed with this scent, you guys. If you saw my Bath and Body Works haul, I got a trio, like a, a mist, a body wash, and a lotion in this scent because of how amazing this fragrance is. This says, a, blend, a blended aroma of eucalyptus and pine extract to inspire and captivate. It really is. It's pine, it's eucalyptus, but it's not too strong on the eucalyptus. I love this scent. This was kind of a dud for me though in the shower. I felt like these shower steamers didn't give off a lot of scent. Maybe that's because I had used the Eucalyptus and Spearmint set first before I started the Northern Brights and the Eucalyptus, Eucalyptus and Spearmint is definitely a very intense scent. So I don't know if my brain was kind of expecting that level of fragrance, but I just didn't get that with this scent. Such a beautiful scent though. So I would not um, get the shower steamers in this again, but I have, I'm actually using the body wash in this right now and I've really been enjoying it. I feel like it's being discontinued though because they were half off at SAS. So I'll have to see if, if it's still around, um, see if I can get more of it because what a beautiful scent. I finished a moisturizing body wash in Vanilla Bean Noel. I love Vanilla Bean Noel. This is fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. It's exactly what it is. It's really a caramel heavy based vanilla scent. Love this. Um, I will say, I think I prefer just their regular body washes to the moisturizing body wash. I don't know. Nothing about this feels uber moisturizing to me, so I just didn't find it to be anything special, and I think I like just the bottle format of the other shower gels better, but really enjoy that scent. I have quite a few, quite a bit of that scent in my collection currently. And then lastly, my last empties, this is the Sensitive Skin Collodial Oatmeal Bubble Bath. I also got this during the $5.95 sale back in November. Thought that was a great time to get a bubble bath. I enjoy taking baths on occasion and really love that this didn't have like scent to it. It's supposed to be just like a calming, you know, soothing type of product. Oatmeal is, you know, supposed to be non-irritating, things like that. This didn't foam up as much as I would have loved for it to. Still was enjoyable. I probably would get it again just because I do like to take bubble baths on occasion and like to have a bubble bath, you know, product. So I would get this again if it was at the right price. What does this retail for? $20.95. I would not pay $20 for it, but if I could get it on another $5.95 sale or something like that, yeah, I would consider it. Okay, that is everything. Those are all of my Bath & Body Works empties for the last couple of months. I feel like I got through quite a bit of stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much if you tuned in. I would love to know in the comments down below if you've been using up any Bath & Body Works products 
or if there are, is, is anything lately that you've really fallen in love with from Bath and Body Works, this Northern Brights, this is my, my new jam. So I always love finding a new uh, fragrance, but it's everything I have for this video. I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.